the building blocks of how um, we get from 15 to 20 trillion dollars in market value associated with uh, disruptive innovation now to 220 trillion uh, in the next five to 10 years. Uh, so one of the biggest um, opportunities for wealth creation in history, we believe. In the ever-evolving landscape of financial markets and technological advancements, the dialogue around disruptive innovation, particularly in the realms of cryptocurrency and artificial intelligence, AI, continues to captivate both investors and the broader public. At the forefront of this conversation is Kathy Wood, whose insights offer a compelling vision of a future where these technologies not only reshape our economic framework, but also present unprecedented opportunities for wealth creation. Wood's predictions point to a monumental shift in market value associated with disruptive innovations, projecting an increase from $15 to $20 trillion to $220 trillion in the next 5 to 10 years. This prediction isn't just optimistic speculation. It's grounded in the observed trajectory of technologies that have the potential to redefine industries and economies at large. Among these, Bitcoin, AI, blockchain technology, and biotech advancements stand out as key drivers. Bitcoin, with its decentralized nature and the absence of counterparty risk, has recently witnessed a surge in value. Touching intraday highs and benefiting from the ETF launches and increasing institutional interest. This phenomenon underscores a growing recognition of Bitcoin as not just a speculative asset, but a legitimate component of a diversified investment portfolio. Wood's bullish stance on Bitcoin is further reinforced by the anticipation of its role in debt management relative to GDP, suggesting that rapid GDP growth fueled by innovation could significantly reduce debt burdens. The discussion around gold's price movement, juxtaposed with Bitcoin's rise, introduces a nuanced analysis of investor behavior in times of uncertainty. While gold traditionally acts as a safe haven, the increasing interest in Bitcoin highlights its emerging status as a potential alternative amidst global financial instabilities. You can see the, that gold is breaking out here. Is this a flight to safety? Um, are there things going on out there, whether it's commercial real estate in the U.S. or recessions around the world or crackdowns in China and, and Russia and elsewhere? Is there a flight to safety? We don't know um, why the gold price is going up like this, but it is interesting to note that the metals to gold price is still near um, a very low level. Um, near recessionary levels. So, so that's kind of interesting. Um, here's the Bitcoin price uh, out to a new high. It did touch intraday on a couple of days, that 70,000. Um, and, you know, we wonder how much of this is because of the ETF launches and all of the publicity and the competition among the 11 uh, ETF issuers. Uh, and how much of this is flight to safety? After all, we heard uh, New York Community Bank um, under duress has now been taken over and uh, there's another bank in Philadelphia. So there's no counterparty risk when it comes to Bitcoin. Um, and so maybe that's part of why uh, Bitcoin has shot up here. And as you know, from our research, we think this journey has, has miles to go. The way we think the debt is going to come down as a percent of GDP is because of the growth in GDP. We think if we're right and GDP growth after a cyclical slowdown, harder landing than most people think, if we are right and innovation takes over and we see very rapid growth, accelerated growth in GDP, then uh, debt as a percent of GDP is likely to come down, much like you saw it doing in the late 90s. Uh, the Clinton administration is credited for really being the first administration, I think almost ever, except for post-World War II, to bring down debt as a percent of GDP. So we are not as gloomy on the fiscal policy side when it comes to debt outstanding as others, but it's because of our thoughts about uh, innovation and how rapidly 
the five platforms, so robotics, energy storage, uh, artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, and multiomic sequencing in the life science space. Those five platforms, we think, are going to deliver outstanding growth in the years ahead and are going to move the needle for the economy. AI's transformative potential is likened to the early days of the internet, with Wood drawing parallels between historical tech booms and the current AI revolution. The initial integration challenges and subsequent exponential growth underscore the importance of AI in driving productivity and economic expansion. However, the journey of embracing AI is not devoid of hurdles, as companies must undertake extensive preparation to fully leverage its capabilities. Reminiscent of the Internet's initial corporate adoption phase, the anticipated impact of disruptive technologies extends beyond individual market segments, suggesting a holistic effect on the global economic structure. The role of ETFs in facilitating Bitcoin's integration into mainstream financial systems exemplifies the changing landscape, where traditional barriers to entry are gradually dismantling, allowing for broader participation and investment. Wood's vision, while grounded in the current trends and data, invites a broader reflection on the nature of innovation and its implications for economic growth and wealth distribution. The emphasis on rapid technological advancements across multiple platforms, from blockchain to biotech, highlights a future where economic indicators market value, and investment strategies are intricately linked with technological progress. As we navigate the uncertainties of the current economic environment, Wood's insights offer a roadmap for understanding the potential or disruptive innovations to reshape not only markets but also societal norms and economic policies. The dialogue around these technologies and their impact on investment strategies, market valuations, and economic growth models continues to evolve reflecting a dynamic interplay between innovation, market forces, and regulatory frameworks. Kathy Wood's predictions and insights underscores the pivotal role of disruptive technologies in shaping the future economic landscape. It presents a compelling case where the transformative power of Bitcoin, AI, and other innovations highlighting their potential to drive unprecedented wealth creation and economic growth. As we stand on the brink of a new era of technological advancement, the discourse surrounding these developments offers valuable perspectives on the opportunities and challenges that lie ahead. So we think that uh, we're going to have a little bit of a, uh, a harder landing. And one of the things that could uh, be reassessed is uh, here is how companies harness AI. And what we think is there could be a bit of a pause for, for a couple of reasons. Well, first, if we do have a harder than expected landing, but um, maybe more important because companies really have to do a, a, a lot of legwork to get ready to harness AI, and which means they have to integrate data from far-flung places around the world um, to activate AI. And they have to map out workflows in excruciating detail in order to enjoy the productivity gains that uh, will come out of AI. Uh, and it's going to take some time. It takes us back to the early days of the internet when Cisco went through the same thing. Cisco had a brilliant move in, in the three and a half years leading up to uh, March 1994. And one of the reasons, the aha moment, the chat GPT moment back then, was when AOL, uh, when its email was connected to the internet for the first time. And uh, so that was in 1993. Cisco just took off, soared 30-fold or more, and companies then, as competition started to enter the space, and there is competition entering the AI uh, chip space, different kinds, the hyperscalers themselves are developing their own chips, A AMD, Tesla, other companies large enough to develop their own specialized chips are doing so. Um, and so there was a moment, there was a bit of paralysis, uh, and Cisco, Cisco had a very significant setback. Uh, and then went on to years of uh, very strong growth as 
as companies got their ducks in order and started committing to this internet backbone. Um, we think uh, NVIDIA could be in the same position and uh, not taking anything from uh, uh, NVIDIA. Uh, all praise to Jensen Wan, uh, you know, uh, everyone knows that NVIDIA is the AI stock. 